Hey everyone and welcome to 121 in Flux. I am Peter, that is Connor, and we talk about movies on this show. And on this episode, we are returning once again to the Godzilla franchise. We started, our very first ever episode of In Flux was the first Godzilla. And now we're on the ninth... Tenth, I just checked. Tenth, they checked, good. Because you weren't sure two minutes ago. I wasn't so sure, I no, I'll it was ninth or tenth. We're on tenth, so this is ten movies in. I believe this is the last one by Ashiro Honda, who directed the first one, and most of the ones up until now. Not everyone, one or two weren't. Second one wasn't, there was one a couple of movies ago that wasn't. But most of them were by Honda. And this one's his final one. It's called Almost His Attack. It's also known as uh, Godzilla's Revenge. And that is neither title honestly fits the film that we're about to talk about, but that's what they're called. That's what it's called. Yeah. So we're going to talk about this. We'll start spoiler free, as we always do. We'll give you a warning before we get into spoilers. It's somewhere in the middle, and that's what we're going to do. So the plot of this one is that we follow a young child, uh, Ichiro, who is, you know, he's, 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 a, he's a sort of bully. You know, he's quite a young kid. He's like, you know, eight years old, something like that. And, you know, he's, 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 a, he's a bully, a local bully. His parents are always working. They both work jobs. Dad works on the train. His mum works at a massage parlour or whatever it is. And he's always left on his own. He's a bit lonely. And he's got a very active imagination. Yeah. Also, <laughs> this will become more relevant later. There was a, there was a, there was a robbery in the neighbourhood where two thieves stole 50 million yen. That's relevant later. <laughs> that's something that's happening. You're probably thinking at this point... <laughs> this doesn't sound much like a Godzilla movie, does it? Where's Godzilla and the other monsters? Where, where, where's all this happening? Well, you see, basically, Ichiro has an imagination and he has this device that he believes will, will transport him to Monster Island. So he basically daydreams about Monster Island and he fantasizes that he's with Manila, the, the son of Godzilla, who, in this movie, in his imagination, can talk and is also about the same size as him. In fact, later on in the film, there's like this magic thing that happens where he just kind of gets bigger so that he matches Godzilla. I mean, not matches, but is, is relatively speaking, the right size for, for Godzilla. So that's, you know, weird, but you know, whatever. Like, fine. But that's it. That All the Godzilla stuff and Manila and a little bit of Ibera, Horror of the Deep, he's back in, in these bits a little bit. So is the big spider dude. Um, that's all just stuff inside his imagination. And basically, it's like an after-school PSA about him being lonely, and he basically finds the strength to stick up for himself because he sees Manila go through the same thing. Well, there's a monster with the same name, uh, J- Jabara, I think. It, what was the, is that the name? Jab- Jabarka? Let me find it. Let me find it. Just on the names, did we know Manila? Yeah. Because I just, I, 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 sorry, I just remember Son of Godzilla. I don't remember an actual name. Uh, yeah, we did. I'm sure we did. Okay, fair enough. Maybe that's just, I've always just gone, that son of Godzilla. I didn't need to know anything else. Yeah, Manila. Yeah, we, we knew that. Um, but yeah, uh, aye, Jabara. Yeah, okay. Or Gabara. I don't know if it's a soft G or a hard G. Um, because it's in Japanese, so I didn't quite, <laughs> didn't quite catch the, the, the way we would pronounce it. But, Gabora, uh, maybe. Yeah, so Gabara. So he, Right. So, and so there's this monster called Gabara, who's the bully of Manila, who's the same as the name of the, his, his bully. That we, we've only seen once in the film up until this point, might I add as well. And the entire thing is like, he, whenever he's in trouble, he fantasizes about being on Monster Island with Manila, and Manila maybe being scared as well, and maybe eventually standing up to his bully, and and so on and so forth. And Godzilla's kind of there just having sort of, sort of random fights with other monsters on Monster Island. There's very little plot with Godzilla, he's just kind of around. Uh, so that is what the movie is. Yes. So I'll ask the question, Connor. Did you enjoy All Monsters Attack? Do you really need to ask? Because no, you know, it's, but it's it's, it's but absolute wank. It's is 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 say it in a proper way. No one's going to understand that. All right, say it it's, properly. It's utter shite. That's fine. So it's not very good. In fact, I believe this is one of the most hated films in the franchise. I it's probably for a good why. reason. It it's only sixty nine minutes long. But it still feels too long. And here's it here's the thing. It feels like it should be 20 minutes. Yes, it feels like it should be a 20 minutes episode of a TV show for kids. Yeah. That's what it feels like. But it's 69 minutes long. It shouldn't be in a 
franchise like Godzilla. I mean, it's fine if you wanted to have Godzilla be the guest star for this. Like, you know, like it'd almost be like uh, the Star Wars Christmas special. You'd have this little 20, 30 minute special on TV. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right? It feels like it should be that. Not a 70 minute movie where it's, it's actually marketed as the next Godzilla movie. I can just um, I can see the trailers just take it all the the Godzilla footage and that's it. Yeah, I I I, I can't imagine how upset I would have been in 1969 had, had I went to see this thinking oh it's the, it's the tenth Godzilla movie, and I get a kid who's been bullied and imagines he's with Godzilla and Manila's talking to him. Yeah. <laughs> I I can't. This is atrocious. It's pre- I mean, it's not the worst thing ever. Like, it's like it's kind of boring. It's not exciting. It's kind of annoying that they, they I, try I th- to pass th- this th- off as a Godzilla movie. I, I think that's what makes it worse, though. Because, sure, there are worse things that have been made, but I was probably never going to watch them. This is a Godzilla movie, but it, it's not really, is it? it well, no, be. but it's not It's not like... You, you say, oh, there's worse things that have been made, but I'm never going to watch them. You have seen worse things than this. You absolutely have. All right, but... Often not by choice. This, the, this. No, no. My my point is here. Okay, if I'm talking, all right. You get a Godzilla movie. It's expectation, right? A, expectation. A Godzilla movie I expect certain things. None of that is in this movie. Oh sure, but like I, I don't think that. I still think when you're objectively looking at, say, when we rate this at the end of the the episode here, I, I don't think you immediately just go, "Oh, it's a one out of ten and just go because I'm mad at it. Like you know, you, it's gonna be pretty damn low. Yeah, and my camera's now. going out of focus here for some reason. I'm I'm getting like the, the 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 soft focus effect here from. Come on. Seriously, why can't, have I'll you find... even got auto focus on? I'll just be soft. It's fine. I don't know. Well, I just... there we go. There we go. That's, that's as effect. soon as you lent in a little bit, it just shifted back. I detected my glorious face. Don't know about that. That's what it did. Trying to hide it from us as much as it was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Um. It's the, but it's not good. It, it, it's 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 pretty rough. It shouldn't be a Godzilla movie. Like I think if this was a twenty minute little thing where it's like, oh, he you know Manila gets over his fears and fights the monster, so so little Ichiro will do the same, um, and that would be fine. But like, as a six to nine minute movie that's supposed to be Godzilla ten, this was like, what is this? What am I watching? And I I was just kind of sitting watching it in disbelief and like, because there's a point where I realised this is all the movie's going to be. It's not like he's actually going to go to Monster Island later. This is just what the movie is. Yeah, the, 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 there there is actually no Godzilla in this movie, if you, if you want to think of it that way. Technically, although... <laughs> although, it, this is going to sound weird, but I'm fairly certain some of the stuff that happens in the, the fantasy is actually like now canon going forward. How? Like, I could be wrong... But, I mean, okay, so we'll just... Spoiler warning then. Full spoilers for, for All Monsters Attack, a.k.a. Godzilla's Revenge, from this point on. So, in the in the, the fantasy side of things, Manila learns to use his atomic breath. Because, you know, up until now, he's been doing the little circles. He can't do the breath properly. And in this, Godzilla teaches him by stepping on his tail, which makes him atomic breath properly. I'm fairly certain from now on, he's just going to have his full atomic breath. See, that doesn't... I, I, I can write that off and just be like, oh, this film never happened, because as far as Godzilla's concerned, this didn't happen. Sure, okay. In between, you know, 9 and 11, he just learnt it. Sure, I'm just saying that an event like that seems, is, 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 I feel like that's going to carry forward. I don't know for sure, but yeah. I, I feel like that might carry forward, despite the fact that technically this was all in a little boy's head. It, did, it happened off screen. Unless, what's funny though is they do confirm later on that this is like you know it's, it's still in the Godzilla universe and it, you know like he's not just making things up like he you know Godzilla does exist these monsters yeah, Monster do exist. Monster Island, uh, you know, yeah, real. Because because by the end of the film, of course, the uh, the, the neighbor uncle like toy maker dude who's building like a computer. Which, funnily enough, building a computer in nineteen sixty nine is actually quite commendable. So you're fair fair play to him. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, obviously, like this doesn't really do what it said it was doing, but still, he like. You've got him, and at the end of the film, he mentions like, "Oh, yeah, of course, he he thinks of these these monsters as as gods, like we would like actual god, and that's how he, you know, that's where he finds strength." And like, okay, right, whatever, that's fine. 
but because I, I was I was wondering almost like you know how recently on television from the multiverse we had a conversation about uh, Tommy Westphal I think the name was the the kid who at the end of the TV show um, uh, Saint Elsewhere like it, the show turned out to be all in his head. But the, the, there's a running joke in the internet that ever since then, people have realised, wait, that show crossed over with other shows, and then they crossed over with other shows, meaning that technically, like, 70% of all TV shows have taken place in this kid's head. Uh, this would be the one thing that made this interesting to me, is if they implied that Godzilla in general, like, the entire monsters, everything that's ever happened in this universe <laughs> was taking place inside this kid's head. And everything after still does as well. If I, it'd almost be funny if in ten movies' time the kid's now like twenty seven, and he's still like thinking about monsters. <laughs> that's why like things have gotten darker. That's why when we reboot in nineteen eighty five, everything's grimier because he's in a really bad place in his life. So everything's everything's miserable. Oh, I'm so glad it never once implies that because even early on, he's talking about the different uh, the different uh, roars and cries and screams that they make. Oh yeah. And you know they're 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 treating it as yeah okay no these things are there they're, yeah, they, they make these different sounds uh, you know that's very early on established he's a, he's before a any of the imagination I think which is funny actually it's funny that there'd be fanboys in Japan of Godzilla and other monsters when that country has suffered a lot because of yeah, those but monsters. he's too young to know any uh, remember any of that really okay he would be sure but like. The, the idea that any adult would be okay with, you know, and be like, hey, no, seriously, Godzilla like, killed, like, millions of our people. <laughs> yeah, not... but they did make Godzilla a hero, you know, so... Oh, true, sure. Yeah, that, that, that's just one of those weird things you kind of have to ignore with Godzilla, though, is, like, oh, they, they can really forget how many people died in the first few times he showed up because he yeah. helped fight off Ghidorah that one time. But, but now I think it's justified that he has a fan base. Sure, sure. I mean, serial killers have fan bases, so why not Godzilla? Not quite the comparison I was going at, but sure. Oh yeah, I mean Godzilla's more justified. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying because yeah. <laughs> ultimately he's just he's an animal, right? I mean he's just yeah, yeah. He's he he's stomping us like ants because to us to him we are ants. Even though until, of course we imply until they it. start talking. Until they start talking, sure. Well, you're saying that if the ants started talking to you, you'd feel up, you think twice. No, no, I'm I'm referring to to now Manila's talking. Okay, sure. I mean, now, now they're not just animals. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's a good question, though. If you were to step on an ant and the ant said, hey, can you please not kill me? <laughs> Depends. If it's outside, I'll, I'll you know, I'll let it get away with it. Well, no, I'd be like, well, get out then. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. If, it, if, it didn't, if it's in my room my house, or something. get out. You're not welcome here. Yeah. You stay, you die. <laughs> Those are the rules. Those are the rules. Seems fair enough to me. Yeah. Uh, so we have this plot where there's these thieves... Yeah, we keep seeing like scenes around where everyone keeps talking about them, and eventually we see them hiding in this derelict building. And the plot is is that at one point Ichiro was in this building hiding from the other bullies, and he ends up finding one of the thieves' uh, driver's licenses. And because of this, they have to like come and hunt him down and follow him back to his apartment, and they kidnap him. So the actual big conclusion of the film isn't a fight on Monster Island with Godzilla, because by this point Manila's already stood up to like his bully, and we've had that scene, and he's had his atomic breath. We come back and they've got him captured. The big finale of this movie is Ichiro fighting off the thieves on his own. He runs away from him and then to kind of emulate the atomic breath, he has a fire extinguisher and he sprays the villain in the face with it. And that's kind of that's our big climax. That's the big. Do, do you know what makes no act. sense about this to me? Yeah, go on. What, why is up the bully specifically a bully for him to overcome? If then you're just going to throw in thieves and have him overcome them instead. That's a very good point. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense because now, I mean, he, he does show up the bullies in the last scene. Of course, he he fights one and a really over the top thing where it keeps stopping the frames. It keeps freezing the it's frames. It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's really really bad. And then it actually implies to me that he's he's actually kind of turned into a little shithead. He then goes and honk because earlier in the film the bullies try to like say, "Hey, go and honk the horn on that bike," because the guy who owns the bike is painting like a billboard. He's up he's up yeah. painting. And he's like, no, no, that man's working. I don't want to like give him a scare when he's up a ladder. That's 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 silly and dangerous. He's right to think that. Of course he is. But he goes up and does it at the end. And I'm like, okay, you're being a little disruptive shit now. And then the guy falls off the ladder and the paint goes all over his face and everyone laughs. The guy chases Ichiro and Ichiro passes his dad and says, hey, dad, can you stop this guy? I made him angry. So now this poor man is arguing with, with his father and the other train worker as Ichiro runs off like the little delinquent that he is. He's, he's, a, he's a little troublemaker. He's turned into a little shithead. He was more likeable when he was being bullied. 
<laughs> That's true. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Mischief. He's a little mischief maker now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I love how the, the movie always gets really serious for a moment because he, he tells his mother at breakfast because you know, she, she feels guilty that she didn't come home and have, have dinner with him the night before. It's like, no, I understand if you and dad have to work, it gives us a better life. Don't, you don't have to worry about it. You can work whenever you want. And he, he means it sincerely. And then he puts on his little backpack and he runs off to school and she just starts crying because like, the fact that her son had to say this to her is upset her so much. And I'm like, you have no tact, you little shit. You, you just... <laughs> twisted a knife in your mother's side yeah it was almost comical though wasn't it yeah he, he's, he's the worst he's actually become a little monster by the end of the movie yeah yes and not in a literal he's a funny kaiju monster no no he's just a little monster he's gonna be a serial killer when he grows up i'm calling it now maybe this is why he was a fan of godzilla in the first place yeah just just you watch there'll be dead hookers in his trunk just, just give it 10 years only 10 aye you could do about 18. Yeah, okay. You could be a serial killer at 18, that's fine. You, you can, but I'm just, you know, he's starting young. <laughs> I started when I was 16, so I know it's possible. Yeah, fair enough. You know, so... <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I don't know what else to say about this movie. It's, it's, just, it's the whole thing. Just a me- like, there's a lot of stock footage from the last, like, six movies. There is, yeah. There's a lot of... There's moments when he's fighting Ibarra. Uh, there's Because there's, the moment that sticks out is when he's fighting the, 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 the bug ones is the the, the, the the almost football-esque moment with The Rock. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. That was really memorable. I remember this from the previous yep. movies. Yep. This is the same footage. That's, and, that's then one, one, and that one was near the start as well. So once I'd noticed that, I was looking out for them. Yeah. It really feels like a quick, cheap cash grab, this one. It was like, oh, we'll just assemble some of the footage. We'll shoot a couple of new bits. And yeah, when, when you think 70 minutes, most of the monster footage, oh, I'd say at least half of the monster footage yeah. is reused. Yeah. The stuff with Manila's not, and the stuff with, like, obviously, the bully monster's not. Um... That, that might be the only new stuff, really. Well, whenever Godzilla's interacted with Manila, I think that's new. Yeah, that's fair. But there's not that much of that. There's only, like, three scenes of that. Well, there's not that much in total, though. So I, I think, I think about half is probably right. No, that's fair. Um, and if it isn't, it, it, it looks it. It looks like all oh, we've seen. It, I guess the point is there: if it's not the same footage, then they're not doing anything different. That it feels like it's the same footage. Yeah. So no, that's fair. So hey, so that, that, this was this was this was a rough one. This is uh, probably the weakest out of the franchise thus far. I think this is this is finally dethr- dethroned raids again as the as yeah. the worst one in the franchise. Uh, yeah. which is upsetting. I mean, it had to happen. I mean, there's 29 movies. Like, there, there, we're going to have some lows. It had to happen. Yeah, eventually. I mean, when, when you get out of 10, eight have been at least all right. Yeah, I would say like six or seven have been downright enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Eight, yeah. eight of them have been at least. You know, okay, this is watchable. So you're yeah. not gonna. You know. A couple were middling, but I'd say a good six of them were proper solid fun. If obviously ranging from that to like the masterpiece that is the first yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. The, the first one is just its own little thing separate you know so the following nine t- two have been bad yeah and then maybe another two have been just okay and then you know five been pretty good yeah so you know i mean that's that's good going so far can't, can't, it can't is fault. yeah can't complain too much yeah i mean it could be worse <laughs> i mean maybe we'll see maybe we'll get to worse soon i don't, I don't know i hope not uh, i don't remember good things about one of the ones coming up fairly soon but i won't tell you which one it is i'll, I'll, I'll leave it in suspense great you'll find out you'll find out when you watch it what, 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 which one i'm talking about uh thrilling so, so this one's not, not that good i guess we'll rate the movie then what would george you rate it uh this, this is a two a two oh my yeah. um i think that's just a touch harsh so how I'm much gonna, of a touch i'm giving it a three Okay. I like two just a bit hard. I like, t- two to me is verging on like this is an absolute travesty of filmmaking. And I think at least the scenes with Ichiro and the bullies and the the, the parents and stuff, they, they've been they, they have a decent enough flow to them. Like I almost think if you take all the Godzilla and fantasy stuff out and and turn it into like a little twenty five thirty minute about just a story about these thieves running around and the kid gets tangled up with them, that on its own is kind of fine. Yeah, fair enough. So I'll, I'll give it a three out of ten. That's fine. That's what we'll go with. Three out of ten. This has been one of the shortest influxes ever. Um, it's because... it's just. I mean, it's one of the shortest movies we've watched for influx. That's it's true. Probably that's the shortest, true. actually. But I mean, obviously, the length of the movie doesn't always 
correlate with the length of the discussion. No, but you know, naturally, if it's a longer movie, there's usually a bit more to talk about. Yeah. Uh, for the record, the next one in the franchise is Godzilla vs. Hedera, which I don't think I've seen, so I'll be curious to see uh, how this one shapes up. So that, that's what's coming next. That'll be number 11, uh, which is out of 29. So, and uh, so we need, to, we need to get going. Including the US movies. We need to get a move on then, because you know, we've been going for what, about 18 months now? Yes, the goal is to have have them all done before Godzilla King of the Monsters comes out, which is next year, I believe. I, I think so. Last I saw, unless it's yeah. moved uh, again. No, I think it's next because I think uh, Godzilla vs. Kong's 2020 or 2021. So, um, but that. Yeah, it's still listed as 2019 at the minute. Well, that's it's, fine. It's, 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 you know, just uh, as, as we speak now, this is uh, been, it's been confirmed for Comic Con. So. Oh, there you go. So I think that just means we have to be a bit more strict and make sure we're hitting one a month. And then maybe speed up a bit towards the end just to, you know, get it in. Just crunch the last yeah. chunk of them. Probably. Because if we got to like, the last few months and it was like, oh shit, there's still 15 left, we'd be screwed. But if we get to the point where, no, oh, no, okay, we've got three months and there's six movies, we can knock those out. That's fine. We can. Yeah. We can do that. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, that's been All Monsters Attack, a.k.a. Godzilla's Revenge. And like I said at the start of this, I want to reiterate, neither of those titles remotely fits what this movie is. No. All no, Monsters I, Attack I, sounds like, okay, every monster you've seen up until now is in this. That's not true. There's a there's a handful of monsters from stock footage. Yes. Um, but, or in Godzilla's Revenge sounds like, well, Godzilla like has a stake in the story. You, like, he you, cares you thought about... you'd have to name it something with Manila, right? Well, that's, that's interesting you say that, actually. It's interesting you say that. Because originally, the international version, they were going to try and uh, call it Manila, Son of Godzilla. See that makes more sense to me. Or Minya, son of Godzilla, because that's the that's the the, the shitty right. way of saying his name. Um, but but maybe if you're gonna follow, you know, have a monster name in it, you could have go with him, surely. Yeah, but calling it Godzilla makes more money, or saying it's a Godzilla movie makes more money. Oh, uh, that's, that's true. Can't that's, argue with that. That's, that's that's basically what it boils down to. So that's us. That's that's been a really short influx. But I mean, luckily right now we're doing makeup episodes. So you're actually getting to a week for the next little bit. So uh, at least. You know, there's another one coming this week, so you can. And let me tell you, it's going to be an exciting episode. Not, not quite the word I use. It'll be exciting to watch. I don't know, or listen to. It. I don't. Know, it's not exciting for us. I'm not yeah. excited about it. I'm dreading it. But no, I'm. I'm going to be drunk. But yeah, so let's just say a certain goal that was reached on Patreon will be fulfilled later this week. So look forward to that. But that has been in flux. So speaking of Patreon, go over to patreon.com slash TV. You can support us over there, keep us going, keep the lights on, make sure we can get a hold of all these movies and whatnot. And, uh, you know, you get some bonuses, you get you get these in flux episodes a week early at the $1 tier, you get more stuff uh, higher up you go. Um, but you can do that. Also, if you can support us other ways, such as uh, like and subscribe and comment, all the usual stuff, all of it helps. Uh, but that is us. So thank you once again for watching or listening. We always appreciate it. Keep watching movies, guys. And we'll see you next time.